comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like that.
do you like your coach? Um, at the minute I do, it's just because it's, it was his first training session last night, we got a new coach, um, a guy called Barry Chambers, who's coming from Warrington. Um, at the minute he made a great impression in the first training session, so I do like him at the minute, but if it doesn't pick me on Saturday, I won't. <laughs> Um, thanks for that. Um, but as always, on the old big tackle bag, it's our chance to give Mitch, Mitch, Mitch. the opportunity to so ask one big question. You are big, you are dense. How much do you bench? I could probably bench you. It's just not a lot. No, but, uh, I reckon I could bench about 100 kilograms for three reps. So I'm not big, but big enough. Um, thanks for coming on the show. Cheers, thank you very much. Thanks. Now it's over to Mr. Rayner and Mr. Davis for the Year 9 Crossbar Challenge. As you can all see, I'm the best at a crush by challenge, as if any of you doubted it. But now it's time for the big stuff, the mystery. <laughs> I played uh, centre and I also played sometimes at full back. Who was the best player and who you played with? Who's the best player? You oh, played I was with? I was definitely the best player. <laughs> uh, oh, I can't remember now. We used to play with a, cold, cold, a guy called Bobby. He was fantastic. He's now gone to play at Leeds. Uh, there was someone all called we also called him Sticky, and he used to play. He's got now playing at Halifax uh, in the lower leagues. So uh, there's some real quality players. Yeah, some good good people in the team. Who was the best player you played against? Uh, mm, um, well, I can't remember. That's a tricky one. That one. I played against some tough ones. I can't really. I can't really answer that one. Who did you play for? I played for Bradford Bulls. Have you Have you heard of them? Yeah. They weren't called Bradford Bulls when I played them. They were called Bradford Northern. It was a team. And I only played in the academy team, so I never got to play proper professional rugby because I had to decide whether to, to go for professional rugby or go to university and I went I chose to go to a university. Yeah. Why did they stop playing? That was the reason why really, because um, I, I actually was quite thin and I couldn't the, they put me on lots of different programmes to get more weight on and improve my improve my bulk and I couldn't put enough m muscles on so I had to get up before school and go to the gym every day, do some weights. Yeah. And they have to do some weights after school and I just couldn't I was just too thin. So it was a decision that I had to decide because I was fast, I was fast and I could find the gaps, but I used to get crunched all the time and it was just too painful. What's the most tries you've sco scored in one game? Uh, oh gosh, when I was playing really, really a long time ago with the little, at uh, the under, under 13s and under 15s, I probably got four or five, but when I played for the academy, I think probably two. Um, what does it take to make it in rugby? I think it takes exactly the same as it does to be, make it in anything. You need to be dedicated, you need to have high expectations and most of all, 
high expectations and high aspirations and you also need to be resilient because in everything you do you get knocked back don't you there's always somebody better than you and what you have to remember is that that's not that's not what the most important thing is it's about getting better yourself and looking at yourself and how you can how you can improve do you prefer rugby or, or union and why do i prefer rugby league or rugby union yeah uh i played both uh i probably would prefer rugby league if i was honest i think if rugby union is a little bit too much kicking and I would prefer to pass it and keep the ball, keep the ball alive. Um, but then, the, when the top teams play, I, I do quite like watching rugby union too when they're throwing the ball about. What inspired you to become a rugby player, or who inspired you? My granddad was a. My granddad played rugby for England. Uh, my uncle played rugby for, rugby for Bradford Northern. Another uncle played rugby for a team called Batlin at the time. It must be 40 years ago, back there were a really strong side in, in West Yorkshire. So we've got a very, very, very strong sporting family and all my family members uh, are pretty good at sport and those were three people that were amazing rugby players. I never got a chance to watch them, they watched me but I never got a chance to watch them. What's the best ground you've ever played on? Uh, the best ground? Well I'd have to say Odsall, when we played at Odsall because that's my home, home ground. But I played at Salford once before on Sky TV. Uh, I played St Helens was a good ground. Played there. Uh, played at the old Wigan, Sta Wigan Stadium, which is now a supermarket because I've got the new. Is it JJ Bean Wigan now? Oh, yeah. so I played on that one. Widnes, that was quite a good ground. Um, yeah, so I've played on quite a few. Amazing. Finally, uh, did you see yourself as the best player on the team? No, I don't. No, I was only kidding before. Uh, I think you said that the last word is the most important there, isn't it, team? And I think you, we all need to learn from that, that not one person makes a team and everybody can, can contribute. And the best people, I think the best people in teams are the ones that can get other people to work to work for you. So you don't have to be the best player to be the best person to, to keep a team functioning as, as best as you possibly can do. All right, thanks for that interview, sir. No problem, thank you. Right down here at uh, Year 11's rugby training, and this is the Tackle Bag Challenge. Sit! Hey! Here comes the, here comes the, here comes the, y'all don't really want it like So I keep big bills up in my heart on the dirty like blood So ain't got no twist in my head But I'm still dreadful And I got plenty of bread So I go to bed for a lot In it to win it to win it I'm all in I might call you my cousin young blood But we ain't kidding oh, You think a jumping man You best think again The dirty I'm the type of man That might go broke for revenge Got some not so nice friends Kick the dough off the hinge Take the dough off your bands Pop up 